Well, hey guys, um, so the transfer case, it has a leak. Look at this, I got fluid dripping off of that right there. Um, the front seal, output seal on the drive shaft here is leaking. Um, basically, I need to take this apart and replace that seal. Um, I'll kind of show you what I'm going to do. I have not done the front seal in a transfer case. And this type of transfer case at all, uh, I've done it in others. So we'll uh, we'll uh, go along step by step on how to do it. Pretty simple to do. So um, so I'm going to take the drive line loose here, and it's just four bolts here, and that's the five eighths. So it's kind of tight here with the cross member. Kind of see that. So um, we're going to struggle a little bit with that, but it won't be a big deal. But we'll. Uh, We'll get moving on that. So if you guys look up here, I got the drive line disconnected. I got it wired up to the exhaust here. And uh, right here, that nut is an inch and an eighth. So I'm gonna take an impact and undo that nut because I know I'm not gonna be able to get it undone without putting it in four wheel drive and I don't wanna put that much strain. So. Um, We'll go ahead and get that going. I just wanted to show you where I was at and then we'll pull off the slip yoke here. So now this guy should just oh okay we got a we definitely got a mess going here. Alright guys, well the camera wasn't recording. I apologize for that, but I wanted to walk you through what I did. I did have a groove here in this yoke of the transfer case front drive line output shaft. It's a flange yoke um, just from the seal wearing. Um, this is a speedy sleeve I put on here. Here is the part number if that helps you guys. They come with this sleeve and the little cup to, uh, to put it on. So it has a little lip here and you basically install it it doesn't quite fit perfect it'll slide over the first little section and then you put this cup on place the sleeve on there and you pretty much just hammer it on and then you got your new sleeve on there so sorry it didn't record um i just kind of wanted to show you uh what that looked like um i got these from napa and then i got the new seal which is right here and here's the part number for that. And this is a 208 transfer case. So, um, sorry it didn't record, but we're gonna get this thing installed and we'll uh, get her going. All right, guys, well, I can't really fit a seal removal tool in here. Um, there is one, uh, and I don't know where it disappeared to, but it sits on a ratchet. Um, and it's just a really short one that you can kind of angle. But, I'm hoping I can just get this out with a screwdriver. Well, make sure we got all the crap out of there. All right, so we're gonna get the seal put in. Just tap it in like so, and then I'm gonna take this long extension. Just. All right, so there's what we got so far. I'm gonna go grind it and get her buttoned up. All right, guys, got the tool done. Turned out good. I just used an old socket I had laying around, just a half inch drive, so I can use that as an extension. If not, I can pound on it. And uh, I let the bearing rest flat. So I'm gonna go get that installed. All right, guys, got my tool here to install the seal. Go ahead and get that installed.
All right, work, tool worked great. Got it installed, looks good. All right guys, well we got the seal replaced, everything put back together and fluids in it. So uh, I think we are good to go. It doesn't look like we have any leaks. Uh, we won't know until we drive it a little bit, but I am pretty solid that we aren't. Um, guys, hit subscribe. Check out more of the videos I've got posted and um, more in the future. Cool, thanks guys.